Hi everyone, this is going to be your introduction to quadratic functions. You will see a lot of notes in this uh, presentation that you would definitely want to copy down. So let's just start off with the basics here. So what is a quadratic? You may or may not have heard this phrase before. A quadratic is a type of function where the highest power is squared or a 2. Okay. So that's the idea right here. So the highest variable is squared. So generally you'll see this as an x squared. So the shape of the graph is a parabola. A parabola is a U shape. It can either be facing upwards like a smile or down like a frown. Okay, so we have solutions. Like everything in math, we do have solutions. And there's a couple words for them. You can call them solutions. You can call them roots. You can also call them x-intercepts, right? They're all the same. So if you think of them like being equivalent phrases here, solutions are also called or x-intercepts. Okay, solutions are where our graph, our actual curve, is hitting the coordinate plane, the axes. So you can see right here, I'm gonna highlight. There's one solution there's two solutions. When you are listing them, you can just say the numbers that they are. You can say that the solutions are negative two and two. So each graph of a parabola, they do have certain characteristics that we can find from our equations. So these are definitely important notes to be writing down. The first thing is called the axis of symmetry. Now your axis of symmetry, you can think of that kind of like the line that's going to cut down the center of that U shape. It's going to divide it directly in half. What's nice is it mirrors on both sides. It helps you graph. The second characteristic is the vertex, okay? The vertex is the point in the dead center. The vertex always lies on the axis of symmetry. And we can also call that our maximum or minimum values. So those are all important things. Now, when we call that a vertex, it might ask you, is it a maximum or minimum? And the way that you can tell is if it's facing upwards, that vertex is at the bottom. It's our axis of symmetry through the center. So that's our vertex. That's going to be a minimum because it's at the bottom. If it's facing upside down, we have our axis of symmetry. We have our vertex. You can see how it's at the top. So that's going to be your maximum. It's your highest point or your lowest point. They're always a U-shape that's either up or down, never side to side. That would not make it a function. So we talk about how they can be up or down, and here's the reason why. When it's facing upwards, that means that your parabola was positive. So you can think of it kind of like being happy like this little girl here, but it's positive. You can see right here, it's just x squared. When it's x squared, it's positive, it's happy, it's smiling. When it's negative, when your problem starts with a negative sign, like a negative, down like a frown, negative is going to have it facing downwards. So this helps you figure out a lot of information about the graphs before you graph them. So if you read the bottom here, it lets you know kind of like if you're graphing it and it's not how it should look, you can double check yourself. There's always ways to make sure that you're going to be guaranteed the correct answer.